this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 54. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to force off idle applications automatically. So this slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is very straightforward. We want to force off the idle applications automatically. So we'll see that uh, sometimes a lot of applications are in UOW waiting state uh, for a very long time, like uh, even for a day or so, you know, it might be idle without any activity. So we, we can manually force those applications from the server side. So if you want to automate, so there is an option for that as well. So the solution is the create threshold statement. Like there is a threshold object that can be created at the database level. Uh, so you can use the uh, command create threshold and using the predicate connection idle time, we can always configure this threshold object to say that, you know, uh, when the connection idle time is greater than one day or when the connection idle time is greater than 50 minutes, please uh, force off that application or stop the execution of that application like that. Okay. Uh, so this slide uh, talks about the uh, sample script. So here first I am connecting to a sample database. Next I am creating the threshold uh, uh, object. So create threshold close idle apps. So that's the name I'm giving for the threshold object for database. Uh, activities enforcement database which means it is enforced at a database level and enable uh, when connection idle time greater than one so this is the uh, predicate that i am talking so when the connection is idle for greater than one minute so here i am just saying one minute like you, you you can say like in terms of hours in terms of days in terms of seconds so whatever is applicable for your environment after that collect activity data none stop execution so we don't want to collect any activity data and we are stopping the execution for all those uh, applications uh, which have connection idle time greater than one minute. So the, th once the threshold object is created, you can just connect reset. And uh, after that, I'm activating the DB uh, uh, sample. Then in another terminal, I'm going to connect to sample database. Okay, so, uh, and I, I'm just going to leave that particular uh, connection idle, like minimize the terminal window or something like that don't issue further any queries or anything like that. Uh, then you can issue list applications. It will show the uh, client application, whatever the previous connection has done, right? So it's in our original window. And after one minute, okay, if you just issue one more list application, uh, after one minute, you'll show that it will not, uh, you'll see that uh, the, the command will not uh, show the client application which was established earlier right so so it it might be returning some application handle uh, 7 10 50 whatever right so that particular application handle will not be there but the database will still be in activated state only so it is only you know forcing off that particular client connection that's it okay so i hope this information was useful to you um, thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy uh, see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye.